You're engaged. I mean, yeah. You're set to be <laughs> you're set to be married. And it's been so incredible seeing your love story with Nadia kind of bloom and blossom on yeah. social media. You actually told me, I think when you first started dating, maybe like a year and a half ago, that you had found someone and you were totally in love. So let me just say, I am spending Christmas in love this year. Okay. You know how I like to travel. Yes. We met traveling and she's from overseas. And so she's adventurous and has uh -huh. that um, and kind of adventurous spirit like you do. That's exactly right. And fast forward to yeah. October of 2019, you pop the question, That's and right. I want to know how is engaged life going? It's so good. I mean, we just we just did a uh, a great trip together. I actually missed out on a couple of episodes of The Rookie while we were traveling. I didn't want to leave Nadia in Bali by herself, mm -hmm. and we're just loving life together. We're wedding planning now as well, which I thought was going to be a nightmare. By the way, well, what what has been your experience so far? I love wedding planning. Dan, I uh, know a groom, a I, true groom. No, I'm telling you, it is so much fun. What are you enjoying most? Just cre I think it's the creative process of it. Okay, so you know, because it actually is. Are a you creative super process. involved? Yeah. Wow. Okay, because a lot of guys, at least like guys in like in my social circle, are kind of like we're gonna let the bride take the lead. Look, she can choose whatever she wants. Nadia is the boss. Okay, she's making I, the final decision. Of course she is. I just present her with the options. Yes. Or she'll present me with the options, we'll discuss, but the final say is Nadia, it's her special day. She's, you know, princess but, for for her wedding, of the, course. A, a true queen, yes. Yes. But you're enjoying the planning process. I mean, where I are you guys at with that right now? Have you set a date? We've set a date. You have? Yeah, it's gonna be at the end of summer. Okay. And it's gonna be in a tropical location. I'll just say Ooh. that. Okay, well, I'm just gonna throw some ideas out there. We're actually keeping it secret as well. W not the country, but the actual venue, because we're keeping it secret from even our guests. They don't know where it's gonna be. We've got special transportation for them to get there. And so you're gonna tell your guests the country they need to go to? Well, Everything we just else, told them, we just told you them. You just told them, Yeah, okay. yeah, because people gotta book flights and Okay, all that, so it's know. not Hawaii, because that's in the United States. Uh -huh. Oh, I'm trying to think of where it could be. I mean, you've done a lot of traveling. Is it somewhere you guys have been before? As a matter of fact, it is. Well, you just brought up Bali. <laughs> you're good. Could it be Bali? It could be. Uh, okay. I don't know. Is it Bali? I just said you're good. Oh, <laughs> that's so beautiful. What was it that sold you on Bali? Look, the people are fantastic. The climate is fantastic. There's an energy in the air mm. there, like great smells, amazing food. Like if you're a foodie, go to Bali. Mm. Like surprisingly, surprisingly great. Well, that's important at a wedding. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna run down a list of a few wedding questions. Okay. And hopefully you can give me some answers here. Uh-huh. What will be on the menu? There is going to be um, burger patch burgers. No, I just made that I up. Was that'd like, be so good. <laughs> I was like, are you really transporting from Sacramento no, to no, Bali? No. Wow. We thought we can have Western food anywhere. You're only get, gonna get like one chance to really enjoy Balinese cuisine. Yes, and the true authentic that, experience. And, that, and that's in Bali, Yeah. you know? And so we thought maybe we'll go down that road. Okay, yeah. I like that idea. Yeah. Keep it authentic. What is your ideal guest list count? Have you already established that? You said yeah. your guests have been notified. Mm -hmm. I, I think we'd want uh, um, a, a, a very small handful of people, but you can't do that. You know, like family. Everyone I, wants to celebrate you. That's right, you know, and so you, there are people that you have to invite, sorry family. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I love you. So like 30, 50? Yeah, we, we're gonna have about, around about 80 guests, that's you know, so we've got, got quite a, a, a big family and obviously a few friends, but it's hard because, you know, through my life and through Nadia's life, we've acquired yeah. many, many friends, many people, so. To get 80 people to Bali is truly very impressive. That means people really love you guys and want to celebrate your love story. We, we, we sent out the invitation and we were shocked at how many people replied within 24 hours that they were definitely coming, you know, and that- Dan, that, Nadia, Bali, th those are like three absolute it yeses. It filled our hearts, you know, we're yeah. like, oh. That's so nice that people want to celebrate us. So special. What kind of cake? Like a flavor or a design? Sure. So or I'm... are you guys not cake people? A lot of people are now doing cake pops, ice cream, whatever you enjoy. Right. So we've got a, a few different dessert items, but 
there's definitely going to be a cake and I'm a chocolate guy. Yeah. Right? I love my chocolate. Mm -hmm. And Nadi is not as into chocolate as I am, but we've come to a compromise. So we actually haven't, we've got an idea with the cake, but we haven't like locked locked in everything yet. Okay. What about music or entertainment? Great. Is there a chance you would perform? There's a chance. Yeah. There's oh probably a good God. chance. Have you written Nadia a love song? A wedding maybe, song? Maybe I've started writing something. Oh my something. God, I'm gonna start crying already. I'm such a sad, oh, this oh my God. This is a secret. Nadia, don't watch this interview. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, have you have you really been like playing around with your guitar, yeah. writing lyrics? Of course. How do you put into lyrics what she means to you? Yeah, good question. It's hard. You don't want to get up there and at, <laughs> in front of all your friends and family and like, you're so great. I love your smile. <laughs> you got really nice hair. You know? <laughs> <laughs> but you do want to go up there and. Well, you know, when you're writing a song anyway, this is what I did for years before I was acting, was write music and play music around yeah. Sydney, right? This is your wheelhouse, yeah. Yeah, and so I, I want to write a song that's like a, you know, a catchy tune that she can sing afterwards that she'll remember. It's it's something that I'm, I've just started. Wow, that is the ultimate special wedding gift. I mean, in addition to a performance from you, will you have a DJ, a band? Yeah, so I'm really, I'm, I'm lucky to know some of Australia's best musicians. Yeah. So we're gonna we're gonna set up uh, some live music early on, and then we've got a, a DJ with our playing all our favorite songs. Oh my gosh! So is this gonna be a real rager on the beach? Are you going for a hard party here? Uh, you know, <laughs> you know Australians. I know you like to have a good time. Yes. Well, we're gonna have a great time. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna have a great time. What yeah. would you describe the wedding as? Is it gonna be beach casual? Are you asking your guests to come in formal wear? We actually haven't talked about the dress code yet. I think it all depends on Nadia's dress and where she's sort of she's Her dress at. sets the tone, yes. And, and then we'll, as, as, uh, as the date gets closer or the months get closer, we'll inform our guests of what we're, what we're after. I, you're, you're obviously very close with Nadia. You know her taste backwards and forwards. What kind of dress do you think she's gonna wear? We, we share everything, mm -hmm. and it's really hard for her not to go. What do you think of this one? Right. You Cause know, because she, she takes come photos. To you and ask for an no, opinion. Yeah. and I just told her there's one thing that I I do not want to know. I don't want to be involved with it. Keep me out of it. And that's the wedding dress because the first time I see her, I want to see her walking down the aisle towards me. And that's that. I'm gonna lose it. You think I'm, so? I know so. I see yeah. your eyes are getting a little teary here. Well, I love They're the I love the woman, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, but that's one of those. Um, that's a special. That's moment. one of those moments that you don't ever forget. And and I think that um, being able to see your fiance becoming your wife, seeing her for the first time in in a dress that she loves, uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be pretty special. Yeah. I'm trying to leave expectations out of it. I'm just gonna try and be in the moment, yeah. you know? But it's, <laughs> I'm a crier, mate. I know. I'm a crier. And I think we, I might have even told you this before. Movies, sometimes songs. <laughs> they just get you. <laughs> totally. For your vows, are uh -huh. you gonna write your own vows or do you think you'll go traditional and use the old school? No, we'll, I think we'll do our own. Yeah? Yeah, I think so. Although she's, she's like hesitant with that. Why? Well, <laughs> she's kind of got this wicked sense of humor, you know, and I... She can infuse that into her vows. I think so as well. I think that's, I think that's um, really, really cute, you know, so... Uh, look, at the end of the day, it's going to be up to her, whatever she wants to do. Who do you think is going to cry more and who will cry first? I'm going to cry more and first <laughs> and last. <laughs> You'll just be a big pile of tears all day. Oh, yeah, tears of joy, mate. You I know? love that. And I mean, have you had conversations about wanting a family and, and expanding the family? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, of course. I don't think that I would have uh, asked this woman to marry me if yeah. I couldn't envision us having children together. Do you have like a timeline on that or when you see that happening? She might. Okay. Yeah. Wow, little listings running around. <laughs> I love that. Can we expect any of your former When Calls the Heart stars to be at your wedding? Hopefully they can. In fact, you can expect one, because we've got one confirmation so far. 
Can you tell us who? Yeah, Martin Cummins. Martin Cummins yeah. is coming to Bali? Yeah, he's coming. Wow. So good, but we, we're waiting on, we've sent out other invitations. Okay. And we'll, we'll wait for responses. We know at that time, people could be shooting. Sure. You know, yeah. there could be stuff going on. We'll, you know, we sent out some invitations and we'll see. So you, you, <laughs> you are comes. still very close. You still invited your castmates from One Calls the Heart to your wedding. Right, not everyone, but you know, certainly people that uh, I'm very close to. Can you share yeah. a few names? Well, Aaron. Of course. Of course, Aaron yeah. and Ben. I know you, just as much as Nadia, appreciate a fashion forward moment. Have you started looking at what you're gonna wear? First and foremost, it's about Nadia's dress. Mm -hmm and the vibe of that dress. And you'll match uh, it. Yeah, 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 that's right. But you know, we're gonna be in a pretty um, hot location. Yes. I don't wanna be all buttoned up, yeah. you know. Um, Schwitzing on your wedding day is... Schwitzing on the wedding day, yeah. oi, gewalt. <laughs> you do a pretty good Yiddish. Uh, well, I'm a Jewish Jew man, so I, I uh, you know, grew up with my, uh, <laughs> with my, you know, family, they're originally from Holland, mm -hmm. right? That, the Jewish side of the family. Mm -hmm. And uh, my uncle Sam was like, Oi, I got the biggest pool in the neighborhood, but you never come around. He literally <laughs> talked like that. He was like, you know, <laughs> was Uncle Sam, 